What's up guys? Welcome to the video today. Headed to the airport first. It is the uh, 16th of August. How is it already 16th of August? And it is 1.45 in the afternoon. So starting this vlog out a little late, but this vlog is gonna go into the weekend because we have an exciting weekend. It's Brian's first show. He's in there. It's Brian's first show. He just shaved his legs and they feel great. <laughs> We're actually gonna go pick up a special guest who's coming in for his show, so let's see who it is. See the shine. Flex your leg, move your shorts up. Damn. Yeah, those are, those are some nice legs. How do you feel? Two days out. Feels so good. You do? The most energy right now that I ever have. That's really cool. Yeah. Because of like the refeed and the food and stuff? Or I, I guess so. I'm on lower carbs today, but I just, I just feel awesome. Huh. Oh. Ah, we're going to be right under it. Ah. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Sick angle. Sick angle. <laughs> Let's see how he does. Yes. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, so happy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my god, how cute. <laughs> this is like this could have no, been no better reaction than this. He's like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. What is this? This is the best. How come we don't have these? Oh. <laughs> Why don't we have one? <laughs> okay, just wrapped up a shoot at Barbell Brigade, and I wore the hoodie working out, and I like cropped it, so there's like hoodie residue on my sweaty body. But I didn't even show the the YouTube that Will's oh, here. Oh, YouTube. So excited! I showed your baby. Oh, you did. In the clip when he was what on the lump. Think about him? How cute was the lump corner baby oh, yeah. play? Like I, uh, the crazy thing is, so like, when, cute. And he's happy. That's a smile you get every time. That's so cute. He looks yeah. exactly like you. I'll take that as a call. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that ab, Jesus. So as we are coming up on Brian's show day weekend, I'm just thinking back about how this time last year I was doing the same exact show as he's going into this weekend. It's got me just thinking a lot about um, how I'm feeling now and like how this cut has been going versus what I was doing last year. P.S. I'm putting those all away after I film this, so don't laugh at me. I'm putting all my laundry away, promise. But today I had a workout with Tito. You guys didn't see that see that in this video. I've been just like vlogging sporadically over the last few days, but you saw some of the barbell workout a little bit and uh, I was literally so tired. It was probably about halfway through or one third of the way through where I felt like I couldn't give any more of my body to that workout. I probably would have just stopped and gotten so frustrated and just stopped my workout if it wasn't for him. But he pushed me through every single rep throughout the whole entire hour. And he was like doing a lot of the reps for me. And my, like, I could not even do like a tricep press down with like the, with the machine because my body was just like, uh, it was, 
<laughs> I was so weak and I felt so tired. And this is definitely like I'm in my kind of diet feels now. I haven't really told you guys too much about like the diet feels I've been having with this cut. Um, I'm about 17 weeks into it now. I only anticipated doing 12, but then I was like, you know what? I'm doing this cut slowly and sustainably and um, I'm totally okay and I do want to reach my goal which is to be, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to lose 10. Um, that's a goal, like I was at 139 and like hitting 129 would be super cool. And I'm in these diet fields and I know that I didn't want too much of them and I didn't want the diet to impede much of my life. It truly hasn't, like it's actually been so amazing and I've really been blessed to have like, just like truly decided to do it this way and have a coach that understands that as well. Like Will's here this weekend. And it's just been really great, but I'm definitely in my diet feels now. And then I'm having these thoughts like, oh, I should just stop. Like it sucks. I didn't want it to suck. <laughs> but I remember last year specifically, I uh, made this video and I was like, why am I doing this to myself? And I forget what I actually said, but I know that pushing through hard times is like even today's workout, like I thought that I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't like in my head. I was like, I just can't. I should just stop. And then my trainer pushed me through it. And it was one of those things where I like realized mentally that it was a mental block and I could do it, but I just have to be mentally strong in order to push through it. So that's where I'm at now. I'm definitely feeling super hungry. I'm definitely tired. These are the effects of dieting. They don't actually happen. Like I didn't feel much of this the whole entire time over the last like maybe three, four weeks, like the last month or so, I've been more tired, sleeping in an extra hour, going to bed a little bit earlier, feeling a little bit more tired and cranky throughout the day, and workouts like weak as fuck. <laughs> so all of those kinds of things only have happened in the last three or four weeks or so, which is super normal, and I'm excited for it to be done, but I also wanna reach my goal. So these are just thoughts that are going through my head when especially like looking back at what I was doing last year, um, competing at the show and I was just that prep was so brutal It reminds me why I'm doing this cut and why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm continuing on project me and this series Because I don't ever want to get back to that point and this is like a really mild version of that of last year like very mild Let's let's just say that very very mild and my entire goal is to get to this point where I feel so good in this like medium place where I can build up my metabolism and and build my calories up to a point where I can eat um, that comes from dieting like I'm going to talk about all of this in the project me phase two series that I'm gonna be doing about my adding calories back in versus like the lowering calories which is the diet and then adding calories back in which is like a reverse diet there's a lot of debates on reverse dieting i'll talk about all of that when i do it it's going to be less of a reverse and more of like a let's get to maintenance and be at a normal level and kind of like chill there for a bit and then push my metabolic rate which just means add calories and then like allow my body to adjust add again allow the body to adjust add again so i can minimize fat gain and stay stay at a place where I feel really freaking good and eat a lot and be strong and all of the things. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to remind you and remind myself of my goal and I'm just procrastinating on doing my laundry. So we gotta do some laundry. <laughs> all right guys, we are at the house and I'm packing up Brian's show day bag while he gets ready. William is packing up his child. That's right. <laughs> the baby. Hey Maximus. What are you doing? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cutest. Oh, exactly where we're going. Aww. So, we're going to San Diego for the show. Brian's first show, Maximus's first show, and packing up the whole house, getting ready to go. Okay, we made it to San Diego. It was like two and a half hour drive or so. I slept half of it, <laughs> not too much of it. Um, Brian's getting his tan, he's getting all tanned up. And yeah, there's just like nostalgia at shows. It's fun, I'm excited to see him on stage. Room service when I'm about to pay, where is it? Focus, $19 for chicken and potatoes and veggies. <laughs> fine, very hungry. He's over there eating um, 400 carbs today. 450. Woohoo! That looks so good. I can't We're zoom in anymore. Right I feel like I'm getting like those, you know when like the dad starts to have symptoms when the mom gets pregnant? 
feel like I'm having is that, that. Is that happening? I feel like I'm having I'm like the, the prep wife or girlfriend <laughs> feels. No, no, no. No, it's not because of you. We're going through it like together, you know? I'm hungry. You're dying, How much chicken? Four ounces. Just a little bit. Not tan. Happy show day, babe. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys recognize this venue or not. <laughs> How many shows have you done here? One, one but one. Taylor did one here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I came with her then. It was fun. I like this venue with all these couches. It's really nice. Get to just hang and chill while we're waiting. Because the waiting game takes like a couple hours. You get to go on kind of early, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. We're so excited. <laughs> We are off to finals. Had like a little nap. I just took like an hour and a half nap or so. I did. It was really nice. I was almost gonna work, but I was like, you know that feeling you, you know you need the nap more than like looking at your computer. Yeah. Yeah. Elman is sneakily filming an expert. It's okay though. I went out there and was more comfortable. Um, being that it was my first time on stage in like an organized like bodybuilding show, bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search wasn't really like an organized hit certain poses. So I was a little nervous this morning but now but it was it was a weird thing knowing that um, I wasn't competing for first or anything that I could just go out there in the finals and kind of just I guess own it and like do my thing and not worry about being judged too much because I know I was kind of ruled out. So uh, it was fun the second time and I felt like it did a little better. Felt like I maybe looked a little bit better, was more comfortable, which is a huge thing. And I'm just very thankful for this experience. And I'm not, I, guys, like I'm not focused on you know winning. I was never focused on winning. And you guys following this journey, just know. And I've said this many times, but it's not about winning. It's about me dedicating myself to a goal uh, that is very important to me and uh, putting in the work. And that's what I did. And my loved ones are here. So, feel good. We love you, Brian. I'm a loved one. Kelvin, you're very loved. All right, babe, we are now at BJ's. The show is over. It's time to eat. How do you feel? You feel good. I feel very good. I'm very at peace with what happened. I'm very at peace with poking a man in the eye, and I'm at peace with what happened today. How could I not be? Because I'm slightly, so a little drunk, a little bit, ready to eat, gave it my all, best shape of my life, so. Take a second to talk about how well 
these joggers fit me and they're Brian's. <laughs> I think my legs are bigger than his. But anyways, thank you guys for joining me and Brian on his show day journey today. I just washed my face. We are back at the hotel. I had a very enjoyable dinner. It was delicious. Again, like I said, I felt like I was like prepping with him, but not to like discredit his weekend of show day weekend because this weekend was a thousand percent about him and he did so well and I was super happy to be there support to support him and I was happy to be able to show you guys what his show day looked like as well. It was like a little nostalgia for me and it had just had me thinking a lot. Speaking of that, I think my next video, I forget exactly, but I think the next video is going to be my Project Me update, what I have been thinking, feeling, what my updates are going to be, a physique update, along with like a, what my next steps are, because you guys know I'm getting near the end of this cut, right? And I told you guys a little earlier that I've been definitely feeling the uh, effects of the diet, effects of the cut, the fatigue, the like lack of strength in my workouts, and just like feeling it more. And when I started this cut, my coach and I had a goal to like make it, like I thought I wanted this too, and I, I definitely still do, to make it not feel like that bad. Make it not feel like a diet. Be slow and sustainable with it, that it didn't feel like these little diet feels that I felt a ton during prep last year, which prep will, you kind of have to feel that stuff. But with like a lifestyle, regular cut, a diet that's slower, sustainable, less extreme, you get less of that. And that's exactly what I wanted, but it's starting to get to that. So I have to do a little bit of a re-evaluation with where I'm at. And I'll update you guys then. But for now, I'm going to head to bed. Super tired that Pazuki knocked me out. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Give this one a thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll talk to you then. Mwah.